everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, today we are working on stage three of teaching your horse pee off in hand or from the ground. I am redoing this video in better lighting and uh, hopefully you can see everything a little bit better and hear me a little bit better. So this is a revised video of stage three, teaching your horse pee off in hand. If you missed stage one and two, be sure to check that out. I'll link that below in the description section. So we have uh, my horse Galileo here. He is a Lipizzan gelding and he is um, fairly proficient at pee off. Um, Pee off, if you don't know what that is, it's the ultimate of all collection, the ultimate of all engagement, one of the highest level movements that we have in dressage. It is essentially trotting in place. And um, a, a finished pee off uh, has 15 trot steps, uh, pretty much on the spot with a little bit of forward desire. So the horse can creep forward just a tiny bit, but we want to try and get 15 steps. So uh, I want to use my whip here as a little example of how we want Galileo to change his, to transform his body within the, the pee off movement itself. So like uh, Galileo right now is uh, kind of like this, putting about 60% of his weight on his hind end. And that's uh, how most horses are. They have their big head and neck attached to their shoulders, so they carry a little bit more weight naturally on their forehand. So um, right now, just standing here, not doing anything, he's got about 60% of his weight on his forehand. But through correct dressage training and teaching your horse to pee off, you can increase his engagement so that he's more like this. You'll also notice that I have Galileo set up a little bit differently than stage one. I have him set up the same way as the stage two horse of teaching your horse pee off in hand. I have Galileo in a lunging cabasson. I have him, I have a, a lunge line. I have the same carriage whip as uh, the other horse that you saw. So that, and this carriage whip is pretty long because I need to be able to touch his hind legs pretty easily. I also have Galileo here in a, uh, a surcingle and side reins. The side reins are going to be put on when we're ready to get going so that we can, I can keep him straight and I can um, help him develop the collection. Um, I also have Galileo situated here on the rail. This is really helpful when you teach a horse pee off so he's not just doing circles around you so that he stays straight. Um, one other thing that we want to expect now from the horse is um, a little bit different reaction when you tap his hind leg. As you saw in stage two, we were accepting any kind of reaction to the whip, whether the horse bring his leg forward or backward or just lift it straight up or just any kind of movement. But now we have higher expectations here in stage three. Galileo is very used to the whip and, and knows what it means. But now at stage three, I want Galileo, when I touch his hind legs, I want Galileo to bring his hind leg forward at least a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is try to touch Galileo's hind leg and try to bring his hind leg forward up under his belly. It's no longer acceptable that Galileo bring his uh, hind leg just straight up and it's definitely not acceptable for him to kick out and be offended by the whip. So as you can see, when I touched his hind leg, he brought it forward. So he understands that his hind legs need to come forward up under his belly to create engagement. What I'm gonna do next is attach the side reins and I'll give it a go. Thank you. 
right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Galileo showed some pretty good trot steps or pee off steps. Um, Galileo could get a little bit better at being on the spot and maintaining a clear trot rhythm. So uh, this is still a work in progress, but um, I hope you enjoyed how you can uh, see the different stages of the horse learning all the different pieces that goes into teaching a horse pee off in hand. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention is that when I was asking for the pee off steps, I tried to stay in rhythm with Galileo's steps. So it was kind of like this. So my whip, my steps, my clucking, and his steps, I was trying to get that all into sync so that uh, we would be in time and so to help Galileo better understand what to do. Also, you might have noticed I have Galileo's tail tied up in a braid. Um, that's so that his tail doesn't interfere with my whip. But uh, anyway, yeah, I think, I think that about covers pee off in hand. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos. If you have any questions, be sure to leave that in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.